This is not my first rodeo with Donkey Kong Country. In fact, I would like to think that I am very good at Donkey Kong Country. I'm gonna do my best here. Okay, and Donkey Kong's dead. I'm a little rusty, so forgive me if the death count is a little high to start. Can't kill you. I need, oh, yep, there we go. Died on the first level. Just technical difficulties, that's all. Switch. Gotta be my main boy. God damn it. Maybe a little excessive to need a rhino to kill some beavers. All right, let's see. I, I was never great at gambling, but fishy, fishy, fishy. Thank you. Imagine an armadillo thinking he can take on a giant ape. What's down here? Oh, this game still holds up. Still a great game. I mean, it's not Diddy Kong's Quest, which I think is the best Donkey Kong Country game, but one is still great. These ropes are just defying the laws of physics. Just frozen in time. And like that, it stopped raining. And everything was okay. Free my man, Donkey Kong. I could see Diddy Kong, like, being pretty comfortable in the barrel, but Donkey Kong, oh man, that, that's gotta be a cramped ride. This go here? Look at that. I remember everything. Okay. Just propel me out at the speed of light. And after this, both Kongs simultaneously puke. Is this game supposed to be hard? Because it ain't. Just puts you at peace. It's how I want to go. Play this song as you lower me into my grave. We're going to pop into Funky's Flights real quick. Do you guys think that... Donkey Kong Country is accepting travel right now with the ongoing pandemic. Barrel Cannon Canyon, say that 10 times fast. This is like a very artistic dance. Me with the controller in Kong Country. Look at this. Okay, this this part here, this part here, this, this part here. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I forgot I was the best. I forgot I was the best Donkey Kong Country player alive. Don't lie, when you were young, you felt something for Candy Kong. If DK's so worried about his banana stash, why don't you take all these? I'm pretty sure this is a lifetime worth of bananas. I like how when you jump on his head, he just starts dry heaving. Froggy! Froggy, come back here. Come here, Froggy. Eating all these bananas is gonna have to make DK poop a lot, okay? Can you just, can we, oh, I forgot to go to bonus town now. I go to bonus town. I'm an ostrich. This is one rich ostrich. You can tell, look at those kicks. Those are some designer sneakers. Oh, it's minecart time. Nintendo had a hard on for minecart stages in like the 90s and early 2000s. Rightfully so, because they're kind of fun. I, if you think I'm going for that, you're nuts. I ain't dying for no bananas. But I will take DK and Diddy to another bonus stage. After all this, they're gonna be the top 1% of Kongs everywhere. They're gonna be like the Jeff Bezos of Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> Calling this right now, we're not getting a single game over today. Oops. <laughs> oh, wait! You know what the weird thing is? I'm still holding the run button. It's just, it's a habit that I can't break when playing Super Nintendo games. Hey, oh, what is this? Another bonus level? Woo, okay, you almost stung my butt. Imagine being a, a Kremlin, it's like it's your first day on the job, you're a trainee, and this giant ass ape pulls up on a huge frog. What do you do? Did they cover that in training? You think King K. Rule was like, all right, here's the protocol for uh, this specific situation. I feel kind of robbed, like this frog can't even use his tongue to like eat stuff. Seems like basic frog technique. And he's gone. Stop and go station. Sounds like a gas station convenience store. I forgot about this stage. These poor beast demons can only be quieted by a red light. God forbid they see green. They're, uh, kind of stupidly fast. Yo, check out this absolute chad of a Kremling over here. Oh, okay. Just spell rare. In case anyone didn't know how to spell rare. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to... Okay, that's gonna stay there. Let's see. This is this is a dangerous one. Oh! 
Okay, Diddy, it's up to you. Free Donkey Kong. Okay, Diddy's dead. Wait, I jumped on him! There's just something very satisfying about the sound effects in this game. They're very chunky. Well, I stopped and died. Stupid. How are you even throwing those? You don't have any hands. What? I'm jumping on your head! I was doing very well up until this exact point in time. Patience is a virtue. Unfortunately, I don't have much of it, which is why I die so- Oh, God. Oh, that's terrifying. Why did it have to be snakes? Ah! Ah! The real problem are the beavers. What are beavers even doing in an Aztec temple? Can I cartwheel through them? I think I can. Yes, I can. Diddy Kong's dash attack is broken. Hallelujah. You guys ready for Necky's nuts? They call him Necky. Got the same nickname as Rhyme Style's mom. <laughs> and he's dead. Vulture culture sounds like a like a hip hop clothing store. My least favorite enemy are these nut throwing vultures. Because they're cowards. They won't face you. Oh! Double the nut, double the fun. I'm pretty sure this is where the Ewoks live. This is Treetop Town, otherwise known as Endor. Chewie deserved the medal, but they gave it to him at the end of uh, Rise of Skywalker, which was kind of weird, but at least they he finally got one. The rapid-fire ones give me anxiety for that specific reason. Um, can I? I can, but at what cost? Something's telling me I can drop down and get the K and my life will end. It's okay, we'll get the rest of the letters. We'll just be Ong for this level. Like a bootleg Avatar The Last Airbender. Getting a save point is always a breath of fresh air. King K. Rule set up these formations. He's like, all right. You, specific Kremlin, you're going to jump up and down in place in case Donkey Kong comes onto this platform. You bees, you're gonna circle. Out of all the enemies, I feel most bad about killing the beavers. Because the beavers are kind of cute. Aside from like one or two stages, we're kind of like flying through this now. Not to jinx anything. Like I tend to do all the time. It's literally just a stone wheel. Who do we sacrifice? Donkey Kong or Diddy? You know what? It's Diddy's turn. It's Diddy's turn to die. But his death was not in vain. Pro tip. In most Donkey Kong Country levels, you can kind of just backtrack in the first part of the game for each level and you uh, usually get a secret. Look at this sunset. My god, that's beautiful. That's why it costs so much to live in Donkey Kong Country. You know what real estate looks like? I'm uncontrollably fit! <laughs> absolute cannon on this orangutan. I also think it's kind of hilarious that for a giant ape, DK's, he does a doggy paddle. He never truly learned how to swim. God damn it, stupid sharks. You can't even hurt them either, because they're just kind of like, there. This guy's got the advanced tech. He's doing a, a three-way shot. Oh, this is the master clam. Let's get ready to Bumblebee Rumble! It was nice of Bumblebee Rumble to give us some barrels. I mean, most supervillains and bosses wouldn't. And he's dead. Look at this sliding animation right here. Look at this. Look at this. I missed everything. If you ever wanted to know what anxiety looks like, it's one of these spinning barrels. Well, the good news is we're gonna get another bonus because I died so many times. God, this bee is on cocaine. Ah! I, I wait for that clap trap to come and clap my cheeks. Go ahead, do, someone do something. Oh, hallelujah! Some people win the World Series in life, some people go to Harvard, some people become scientists. I clear snowy barrel blast. Wait, that's not even your climate. What are you doing here? This makes no sense in the world of physics. Oh, the blue ones are upsliding ropes. You know, that's how it is. You know, I'm realizing it now, they both doggy paddle. The monkeys not know how to swim? 
We should give him one of those, like, mommy and me swim classes. Like, in the water holding Donkey Kong. Be like, alright, you know, kick your feet. They smell blood and it's all over. Ooh! See what Cranky has to say. I mean, who would have thought he had a cabin in the middle of a mountain? Old people typically go to Florida when it's, <laughs> it's winter time. He's just, he's just talking smack. Just waving his cane and telling me that I suck. You're a huge disappointment. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is a, this is a dark level. I don't remember what we have to do here. Oh, I forgot him. I was gonna say, here's great level design. Uh, let's turn off the lights and just platform with these giant Kremlings every day is chest day. There is no comfort in this world, like a checkpoint barrel. It didn't move fast enough. That's the excuse I'm sticking to it. Really naughty rampage, because it's spelled G-N, because it's a play on words. Did we fight a beaver already that also had to throw up? TNT, dynamite. This set of stages right here gives me very, very Crash Bandicoot vibes. I feel like I'm in Neo Cortex's lab. And I'm not trying to say all labs look the same. Because that would be a stereotype. The evil scientists. I'm just gonna dash dance until it's our time to strike. We don't want the game over. We've come a long way. F word. I mean, I know, like, gyms are closed right now and we're getting a little desperate, but I don't I don't think I'd use this treadmill. Oof. I almost rolled right off. What is Diddy doing? Don't do it. Don't do it! No! Not this time, big boy. You know, I'll take the hit. I'll take the hit. All part of the plan. Careful. Careful. Collect. But be careful. Come on, there's got to be some kind of bonus level nearby. It's It's been like, it's been 84 years. I just need to get past this so I can save. Candy's hut is right there. This is the only time you'll find DK Thurston for candy. When he needs to, when he needs to save. It's like nuclear waste. He's gonna come out of it with like a extra appendage or a third eye. Look, there's tires and stuff in it, which is a sure sign of nuclear waste. Where's the damn barrel? Did he can't do this on his own? He's not capable, he's just a child. On guard, oh, or not. I am hanging on by a thread. I don't know how I managed to get that. Blackout basement. Sounds like freshman year of college. I don't like these constant blackouts. I feel like someone didn't pay their con ed bill. And they were like, yeah, that's a good gimmick. Let's stick with that. Cog, aren't we all just other cogs in the wheel. This is giving me flashbacks. Get it? Flashbacks? Oh, brother! Oh, I forgot. It's not an actual villain. It's just an actual drum. It's just... they just like a salt and pepper shaker. Chimp Caverns. We're getting close to the end. You miss one fuel barrel and you're stranded at the side of the road. Next thing you know, you're in a slasher film. Oh, no. Ah! Oh. No, no, come back! Oh, I need you! Why would I want a TNT barrel when I have a rhinoceros? What is what is in this hole? Something you should never ask. Clearly it's the barrels with the skull and crossbones on it that manufactures the the bad guys. Gotta have a skull and crossbones. That was one of the logistics when they were ordering them. They're like, alright, does it have a skull and crossbones? Loopy lights! Hey, I gotta save barrel, but I'm gonna be honest here. I don't think I have any more lives. Yeah, this one's a shot in the dark. <laughs> Get it? Shot in the dark? Because it's dark. Man, these lights sure are loopy. That's one way to describe it. I'll take being able to see and have annoying platforming any day. Come on! What a way to go. What a way to get a game over. Wait, what? What, yo, did you see that garbage? Okay. Kill him. And now, oh, we're so close. Once you start seeing the arrows, the signs, you know it's coming. Oh boy. Okay, Diddy, it's all up to you. You, 
failure. Believe, people. Believe. Show me the exit. Neki, haven't you had enough? Why are you purple now? Dude is a throat goat. Come on, sh show me the rest of you. Neki, I I'm a little concerned about your health. Puking out all those coconuts. Take me, Funky. Take me to the Gangplank Galleon. This is it. Where is he? Where there he is. Oh, watch, he's got super- Oh, wait! It's supposed to go back! Oh, it does. Damn, the range on that. King K. Rule is broken, even in this game. I can't help but to feel like he's probably... Um... Nothing. He's only got one banana there. Like, if we're fighting to get back our whore... Actually, no. Here's a couple. Oh, look, there's some banana peels. Which means he's been eating them, or someone has. This is where the K. Rule love began. This was the beginning of the love story. Oh, jeez. He's fast for a big boy. I, I don't know what's happening. Oh! Gangplank Galleon is easily the best track in this game. Fight me. I'm willing to argue about it. Oh, yeah. And that's it. K. Rule's dead. That's the end of the game. You just go right into the credits. They, 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 ran, they ran the whole Mortal Kombat gimmick by using Ks instead of, uh, wait. Wait, does he come back? No, it's not the end. I lied. Oh, he's getting back up. Ooh, this is it. Come on. Jump again. Ha! This is the one. This is the one. You're going down, big boy. You going down! He's having a stroke. So the banana that was all the way to the right just dropped straight down. Well done, my boy. Who'd have thought a young whippersnapper like you could have beaten that bunch of no good Kremlings? You've made an old man proud. Go and look in your hoard. I think you'll be in for a surprise. Oh, my bananas, they're back. Well, I mean, I just went through multiple worlds gathering them, so I would hope that they're there. And there they are, a sight for sore eyes. The Kong Banana Horde has been restored.